So I came across this gorgeous little guy um, when I was out in our woodland just rambling around with the kids and it was growing on a birch tree and I thought I'd do a little post about it because it's a really interesting find and I was delighted to find it um, growing here in our woodland. This is Coriolis trimetes. Um, you probably recognise it. A lot of people know it by its common name, which is turkey tail, um, or its Chinese medicine name, its pinyin name, which is Yunzi. And there is tons of research on Coriolis out there, tons and tons of research and lots of trials, mostly in relation to cancer treatment and in relation to um, extending um, life after um, post-surgery and post-chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Um, and the, actually for some cancers it's used alongside chemo and radiotherapy. Um, but that's not really what I want to talk about it um, today. Um, and, but if you want to know more about Coriolis or medicinal mushrooms in terms of cancer treatment, Martin Powell is uh, really the guy you should look up. His website is mycologypress.com. Um, and Martin's amazing. He's a wealth of knowledge on medicinal mushrooms. He um, is based in the UK. He's a Chinese herbalist and he also owns a brand called Myconutri, which is a supplement of medicinal mushrooms. But today, what I really wanted to talk to you and let you know about this gorgeous little common mushroom, medicinal mushroom, that you would find commonly growing around a lot of woodlands in Ireland, um, is for its use in fertility. So yeah, it's one of the main mushrooms that we would use in fertility treatments and it's really specifically for immune abnormalities that you would find in cases of infertility. Okay, so this can happen for a woman in numerous different ways. Um, the, you can produce antibodies to DNA products that are found in the embryo or the fetus, which pretty much means that um, it, will, uh, won't, it will go against the development of the baby. Um, or um, antigens, um, antibodies, sorry, autoimmune response can take place to um, sperm antigens or to natural killer cells as well. So these three things can be more common than you think and um, will result in pregnancy loss or in general in fertility issues. And one of the reasons why um, this uh, medicinal fungi is so useful is because it is an immune modulator. So whether it's for cancers or fertility treatments, it's actually that it enhances um, immune cell production and it boosts your immunity. Um, and in relation to, I mean, fertility is a massive topic, so I won't go into it too much, but basically um, what happens as a normal pregnancy is, is that there is a normal balance of your Th1 and Th2 ratios. So these are just our cytokines that are produced by our T helper cells. This is our normal immune function, you know, it's your normal immune response. But for some women, unfortunately, what you do see um, is that they have a higher or abnormal Th1 to Th2 ratio. And when that happens, um, in, it, it causes infertility. Um, and in Chinese medicine, Coriolis is actually one of the main um, medicinal fungi, so one of the main herbs that is used for that. It's used alongside all kinds of other herbs, some of which we grow here, it's really nice we grow Astragalus is another herb that is used a lot for immune issues and a lot in uh, fertility where there's immune abnormalities too. Um, and then you may find it used by some herbalists um, with cordyceps or macema. So those are other medicinal mushrooms that you may have heard of in terms of uh, fertility treatment. Um, but one of the other things I probably would think of using Coriolis for actually would be autoimmune issues in general. So things like lupus or Crohn's disease or rheumatoid arthritis. Um, certainly um, Coriolis would be one of the herbs because it's an immune modulant, so it modulates the immune system. Um, so if you are suffering from one of those autoimmune conditions, I would say don't just go out and buy a Coriolis supplement. Um, go and see a herbalist or a naturopath or a nutritional therapist who has experience in treating those conditions and also has experience in using medicinal mushrooms too. Um, and if you are a woman who unfortunately does suffer from things like recurring miscarriages or from implantation failure or from repeated um, IVF failures, then absolutely I would highly recommend that you go um, and test for immune abnormalities. And um, so you can go and get tested for that. And um, I would also recommend that you would see a Chinese herbalist um, and acupuncturist. So there are plenty of um, acupuncturists and Chinese herbalists, who are also herbalists, um, in Ireland. And uh, many of them actually specialize in this area of infertility. 
okay, and fertility treatment. And if you, well, certainly the master of natural fertility treatment is Dr. Trevor Wing himself, who um, from the um, Women's Natural Health Clinic in London, that's his clinic there, and um, he's a gynecologist and also a Chinese herbalist. And it's Trevor who would have uh, taught me about Coriolis. So that's why I'm so delighted to see it here in our own woodland growing. I'm so delighted to see it. Um, so if you are interested in natural fertility treatment, I would recommend you um, look him up as well, naturalgyne.com is his website. Or if you really want to see someone in Ireland, um, you can just message me and I will give you a list of some um, very experienced acupuncturists and Chinese herbalists who can help. Um, so you're probably thinking, what am I going to do with this? What am I going to do with this little guy? Um, so I'm seeing as it's such a beautiful immune stimulant, um, I'm going to use this. Myself and the kids didn't want to harvest too much of it and I certainly won't be making medicines from this because if you are suffering from uh, abnormal immune issues in in relation to fertility or just an autoimmune condition you're probably going to need to take uh, large enough quantities of this herb as a supplement um, over an extended period of time so I won't be going and ravaging um, all the little Coriolises found in the birch logs in the woodland here but um, so myself and kids we, we just picked a couple a handful of it and what I'm probably going to do with it is make um, a little pot of tea so just cook it up and make a pot of tea as an immune booster tonic for myself and Ross and the kids. So if you do see this little guy um, in an Irish woodland, uh, turkey tail, as I said, is his common name. Coriolis is what we would call it as herbalists, it's a Latin name. And uh, yeah, just a little bit of information about um, what you found. So thanks.